So playing with my S X version three, getting to use it more, getting familiar. A lot of people, I did say that the stock microphone that comes with this is just not good, not usable. Um, from the people that I talked to on 17 meters, they said uh, it's it's no low end, all high end, sounds like you're in a coffee can, and I don't want to listen to you much longer. Uh, very, you know, hollow sounding. People are saying you could drill a hole in here, it takes time to foam out. Even the click you could hear, you know, you ever heard somebody on the radio when you push the PTT, you hear you know, that's that. Well, very simple. Uh, they do give you a 3.5 millimeter extra here to wire up your own mic. And this, this being a cheap mic has nothing to do with this radio. They probably threw it in there thinking everybody was going to put their own mic on. Why spend $100 and jack the price up to give you some crazy microphone, right? So what I did, and I had some of these in my closet, and this does work. And boy, TID radio comes through again. They make great little handhelds, but I've received some of these over the, the last year with the GMRS radios and the handhelds that they sent. Um, you know, it's a regular TID radio microphone. Now, it had the traditional Baofeng or Kenwood style 2-pin uh, 3.5 and 2.5 millimeter on the end. I simply cut that off, did a little oming out to, to find where PTT and ground was, okay? On here, um, what I can tell you was when I cut this off, there was four wires in there. Red, white, black, and yellow. I didn't use yellow at all if you have this exact microphone. This is the TD-HM060. Does work with this. And the reports I got were, wow, much better audio. Solid microphone, okay? Um, red, white, black, yellow. I didn't use yellow. I think red was mic plus. White was on the ring here for PTT. And um, yeah, and then uh, black was the shield for ground. And... Uh, you know, that's it. I mean, it, it works. You can see it keys up. KJ4YZI testing. You know, it is working and uh, it works a lot better. So uh, if you get one of these, I would highly recommend that you decide to, you know, you could use any microphone. If you want to get a $60 awesome mic and wire it up yourself, you could do that. Um, this one was in my closet and why not repurpose it? And you would never know that I did a piss poor solder job. <laughs> Because it gets covered up right here, but man, it's small wires. Not a lot of room in there. Um, but this little connector here, boom, that solder stuck instantly, and uh, away we go. So there you go. Uh, when I'm on a phone, hopefully uh, I sound a lot better. And the next video, I'm going to show you how I'm using FL Digi on this. I got that configured in there. Now I can do PSK31, RTTY, Contestia, Olivia, Domino X, Hellstriver, Thor, Throb, MT63. And so many more on this thing. That was the key. I wanted to get those working besides FT8, uh, which I don't use FT8 much, but I'd like to use it on this at like one watt or five watts to test propagation antennas. And being that it's all compact in this one little box here, it's pretty neat. Man. I've got some phone activity here. So I'm going to run and make some contacts here. Um, and uh, yeah. The TID, the TID microphone comes through again. No, you can't buy it like this, wired like this. And uh, if you want to purchase a cheap mic, that's the model number here, TDHM060. Wired up, uh, get an ohm meter and wire it up real quick. You can find the pinout of this online on their website and the pinout of various microphones like this online. And you can just, you know, be creative. That's what we do as hams. We, we hack stuff just like this thing is hackable. Hell, you can make your own mic work no matter what kind of mic it is. Take care.